everything is redefined in each generation. So what is left that is absolute? And this is where religion has an argument with intellectual progress because it wants to hang on to something that it believes is eternal and, and, and permanent and utterly always true. But there is no such thing. So religion, according to Fry, is opposed to intellectual progress because it puts the existence of an eternal, unchanging God at its center. Yet there is no such thing that is utterly and always true, says Fry. Oh really? Surely he holds this very proposition to be utterly and always true and so we're faced with the crazy irony that Fry thinks he can pitch belief in God against intellectual progress by presenting us with the self-contradiction? <laughs>